Well, I left college because I knew exactly what I wanted uh, to do, and some of you know too, but some of you don't. Or maybe you thought you knew, but are now questioning that choice. Maybe you're sitting there trying to figure out how to tell your parents that you want to be a doctor and not a comedy writer. Well, what you choose to do next is what we call in the movies the character-defining moment. Now, these are moments you're very familiar with, like in the last Star Wars, The First Force Awakens, when Rey realizes the Force is with her, or Indiana Jones choosing Mission Over Fear by jumping into a pile of snakes. Now, in a two-hour movie, you get a handful of character-defining moments, but in real life, you face them every day. Life is one strong, long string of character-defining moments. And I was lucky that at 18, I knew what I exactly wanted to do, but I didn't know who I was. I, how, how could I and how could any of us? Because for the first 25 years of our lives, we are trained to listen to voices that are not our own. Parents and professors fill our heads with wisdom and information, and then employers and mentors take their place and explain how this world really works. And usually these voices of authority make sense, but sometimes doubt starts to creep into our heads and into our hearts. And even when we think that's not quite how I see the world, it's kind of easier just to nod in agreement and go along. And for a while, I let that going along define my character because I was repressing my own point of view because like in that Nielsen song, everybody was talking at me so I couldn't hear the echoes of my mind. And at first, the internal voice I needed to listen to was hardly audible and it was hardly noticeable, kind of like me in high school. But then I started paying more attention and my intuition kicked in. And I want to be clear that your intuition is different from your conscience. They work in tandem, but here's the distinction. Your conscience shouts, here's what you should do, while your intuition whispers, here's what you could do. Listen to that voice that tells you what you could do. Nothing will define your character more than that. Because once I turned to my intuition and I tuned into it, I, certain projects began to pull me into them and others I turned away from. And up until the 1980s, my movies were mostly, I guess, what you could, what you could call escapist. And I don't dismiss any of these movies, not even 1941. Many of these early films reflected the values that I, I, I cared deeply about, and I still do. But I was in a celluloid bubble because I'd cut my education short. My worldview was limited to what I could dream up in my head, not what the world could teach me. But then I directed The Color Purple, and this one film opened my eyes to experiences that I never could have imagined, and yet were all too real. This story was filled with deep pain and deeper truths, like when Suge Avery says, everything wants to be loved. My gut, which was my intuition, told me that more people needed to meet these characters and experience these truths. And while making that film, I realized that a movie could also be a mission. I hope all of you find that sense of mission. Don't turn away from what's painful. Examine it, challenge it. My job is to create a world that lasts two hours. Your job is to create a world that lasts forever. You are the future innovators, motivators, leaders, and caretakers. And the way you create a better future is by studying the past. Jurassic Park a writer, Michael Crichton, who graduated from both this college and this medical school, liked to quote a favorite professor of his who said that if you didn't know history, you didn't know anything. You were a leaf that didn't know it was part of a tree. <laughs>